Now, the importance of a streptococcus tonsillitis is twofold. There are two diseases that follow it. Both of them are of great importance to dentists, great fascination to dentists. Well, at least one of them is, and that is called acute rheumatic fever. I'm sure you've all heard of that. Acute rheumatic fever is a disease where there is fever and rheumatism fever and joint pains if you like and it's classical that it comes on two to three weeks after a streptococcus tonsillitis so that's where the connection is so if someone has had a streptococcus tonsillitis they may go down with acute rheumatic fever two to three weeks after it some of them may get chorea i'm sure you've heard of that that is just another manifestation of acute rheumatism, but instead of having joint pains and fever, they have involuntary movements. They're going like this all the time. The mother wonders why they cannot sit still. But that is just another manifestation of rheumatism and joint pains as fever would be. But it's a bit more harder to diagnose, I suppose.